Words appear in a black and white Fox movie tone news film. How Helen Keller learned to talk. Mrs. Macy and the famous deaf, dumb, and blind pupils she has taught for years give you a demonstration. It is the only existing record of Annie Sullivan's voice. Helen and Annie sit on a bench. When I saw Helen Keller first, she was six years and eight months old. She had been blind and deaf and mute since her 19th month as the result of an illness. She had no way of communicating with those around her except a few imitative signs that she had uh, made for herself. A push man's go and a pull man come and so on. She had observed that we did not use the hand when we were talking to each other. And I let her see by putting her hand on my face how we talked with our mouths. Helen touches Annie's face. She felt the vibration of the spoken word. Instantly, she spelled, I want to talk with my mouth. Helen smiles. That seemed impossible. But after experimenting for a time, we found that placing her hand in this position. She touches Helen's thumb. The thumb resting on the throat, right at the larynx. The first finger on the lips, the second on the nose. We found that she could feel the vibration of spoken words. For instance, the throat, she feels the G, the hard G. G. And on the lips, she feels the, uh, and the K sound, <coughs> on the lips she feels the uh, B, <coughs> and the, and the, with the second finger on the nose, the nasal sounds, the N, mm, the N. Mm. Her hand rests on Annie's face. The first word she learned to articulate was the little word it. Her finger touches Annie's moving lips. With the hand, in this position, I made the vowel I. She felt it. I. Helen repeats the letters after Annie. Then I made the T. She feels it with the finger on her lips, on my lips. Then I put the two letters together to form the word it. And the first word was learned. Annie grins sweetly. After her seventh lesson, she was able to speak the sentence word by word. I, I am, am not, not dumb, dumb now. No. 